Hi, this is my informative speech on the consensus and minority views of climate change. And I'll be starting with the consensus view, which believes that global temperature increases are mainly due to man-made carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. And the first argument they give that I find persuasive is general carbon dioxide levels increasing. They state that there's a strong correlation between carbon dioxide and air temperature increases. And I think my generation, at least, has pretty much grown up being told that it is increases in greenhouse gases and the burning of fossil fuels that's adding to temperature increases in the atmosphere. And the second one that I wasn't really aware of before we discussed it in class is increases in extreme weather events. The consensus view talks a bit about how tornadoes and hurricanes, uh, their frequency has been increasing. Specifically, there have been increases in breakout tornado days, which are days that there are more than 30 tornadoes in a single day. And tornado cluster density has also been increasing as well as just the general strength of tornadoes. And on top of that, hurricane impacts are worsening in the US and the consensus side states that this is because climate change has increased the intensity of hurricanes and decreased their speed. So they're doing more damage in one place for longer periods of time. And trends have predicted and proven that hurricanes will become more costly as they continue to intensify with global temperature increases. And the last argument they give that I wanted to talk about is the 97% majority. Um, the consensus view claims that 97% of scientists agree with their point of view. And we had talked about how this number probably isn't entirely accurate. It's, it's fudged a little bit. But that doesn't mean that it isn't still the majority of scientists that are on the consensus view side. And that does still mean something. And moving on from the consensus view, we have the minority view, which contrary to popular belief, does not believe that climate change isn't happening, but rather believes that it is, it's just not man-made carbon dioxide that is the main cause of it. And the first argument I wanted to discuss that they give in favor of this is natural variability outside of extreme weather events like tornadoes and hurricanes and tsunamis. The consensus view often cites an increase in heat waves, wildfires, and sea levels as evidence of climate change due to man-made carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. But if you extend the graphs that they use to prove these trends, as a minority view has done, you can see that by looking at the graphs from longer periods of time, the trends aren't actually all that accurate. Um, the the bits and pieces of the graphs that fit with what the consensus view believes should be happening are the ones that the general public is seeing. Um, but the minority view believes that this really could just be natural variability in the environment and the atmosphere. It's not that different from trends that you see over longer periods of time that the graphs that the consensus view shows aren't visually showing to anybody. And this shows that there is no actual proof that natural occurrences like this, if there is an increase in them, has stemmed from a 
simultaneous increase in carbon dioxide levels. And the second one that they talk about that I find really persuasive is their issues with climate models. Um, there's quite a few, to be honest. One of the, the really big ones is fudge factors, where the consensus view sort of takes data that maybe doesn't fit and tweaks it so that the trends follow what they think it should be following um, in a more confident way than it might have been before. And on top of that, a majority of false predictions are based off of these climate models. So there, there's no real way to tell if they're super accurate because a lot of their predictions just haven't come true. Um, and climate models run hot. Minority View has shown how the, the numbers tend to round up. Um, and it shows a greater increase in temperature than there truly is. And the biggest issue with climate models that grabs my attention is the medieval warm period, where there were no fossil fuels being burned in ancient times, and there was still a massive increase in global temperatures. And we're also currently experiencing that or have experienced it. And we're using carbon dioxide as an excuse when the same things happened before and we know that it wasn't carbon dioxide that was causing it. And the third argument they have that I think is interesting is outgassing, which basically says that when warm water, when water warms, it has a tendency to dissolve the gases that are trapped in it at cooler temperatures. So carbon dioxide levels increasing isn't necessarily a man-made thing. It could be because the oceans are warming and they're releasing more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. And this shows that there really is no direct correlation between air temperature and carbon dioxide level increases, or at the very least, it's not quite as evident as the consensus view tends to make it out to be. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the end.